If you watch my channel at all, you know that I have two wonderful Shih Tzus, Happy and Sunny. So I'm really excited today. We're going to talk to Bo Eckstein about a franchise in the pet industry near and dear to my heart. Uh, Bo warns me that this might be a dirty industry, so I can only imagine what this is about to be. But yes, Bo, we're going to talk pets and maybe a franchise. What do you got? So uh, we're talking about boring businesses. Um, what about this as a startup business? You can be all in on one territory for under $100,000. Uh, it's, it's in the pet waste management, okay? So what do you do? It's really about picking up dog poo from residential customers uh, and also from uh, HOA, so large apartment complexes. If you ever take a walk with your dog, there's a huge mm -hmm. problem with pet waste right there's um there's over 89 million dogs in the u.s uh and uh that's producing 66 a million pounds of poop every single day guys not to mention duck and goose poop and yeah. and also uh horse like yeah. if you live in around an equestrian area it's actually right. a, a problem if you if you live in an apartment complex and sure. you walk around you'll notice that no you know about half the people pick up after themselves yeah. so yeah. um you know like i thought about this business and i i i listened to the different you know franchise consultants and things that are talking about it um but this is actually a pretty good business model because it's it's remember it's not you that's picking up the poop unless you want to be an owner operator this mm -hmm. is a semi-absentee business model let me share my screen real quick here sure all right here we go so um, I can make it full screen. Give me one second. And go here. That one. Yep. There we go. So um, did you go full screen here? It hasn't. Did it do it? No, there it's okay, though. Yeah, go ahead. There we go. Yep, there it is. Yep. So uh, here's a little bit of an overview about this particular franchise. They have a proven track record. They were established in 2000. The franchise has grown to serve millions of customers nationwide. Hmm. Uh, started franchising in 2004. Now I have a strong presence across the country. Um, I talked about the pest uh, pet waste statistics. So there's a lot of dog poop every day. Mm -hmm. They have a wide range of services. Um, the traditional residential pooper scooper services, yard deodorizing, brown spot treatment, community pet waste station services, common area cleanup, goose poop cleanup, and horse poop management. Hmm. Flexible service options uh, provides year-round, uh, twice weekly, uh, bi-weekly, monthly, and one-time pooper scooping services. Community focus, uh, e industry leader in management and of pet waste for communities. There's different ownership models, owner operator, semi-absentee um and so mo most people that we're dealing with are w2 and they like this business model because it's simple mm -hmm. uh advanced technology they use proprietary software called poop net uh for efficient operations recurring revenue generates steady income from both commercial and residential services recession resistant pet waste management is a necessity ensuring consistent demand professional services uh, all the technicians are insured, all that good stuff. You get a territory. Uh, obviously, you're going to negotiate, you know, how many territories you want to buy. Uh, and so this is, I think it actually, as funny as it is, it does fit kind of a good business model because it, yeah. it kind of hits the recurring revenue. Um, and here's just kind of going over what I talked about. I mean, they're going to train you. It's obviously pretty simple. You're going to start with one technician, one, one wrap truck. Uh, you're, they have a national call center, so they're, they're scheduling, they have national advertisements, they're doing the Google pay per click. Mm. Um, so the real secret of this business is, is, is landing corporate accounts. They're going to help you pull the data of the different HOAs. You're going to do marketing collateral, these different HOAs. Um, and essentially, you know, these larger communities that you'd be doing this for, you know, the recurring revenue is pretty strong. Um, right. they do residential, commercial services so you're kind of in all that um single territories ninety thousand um, dollars on the ftd the uh 
the uh, the you know the invest uh, the top line revenue ranges was three ninety five to three point nine million, which was like a top hmm. um, uh, franchise owner. I mean, that's pretty. I, that must be multiple territories. Um, hmm. Hits all the benchmarks. So uh, you can go to onerentalmeeting.com if you want to buy, get into a poop business. But <laughs> really, the intention of doing these is just like to show you that there's like a lot of, a yeah. lot of business models out there. Let me hit, hit stop share. Uh, yeah, the key to this series with us, and again, you have a playlist on the channel, is really just highlighting all the various boring businesses. All the, it's amazing how many different places a franchise might exist, and, um. This is why I think a lot of people need to reach out to you. They need to be introduced to the Zoracle, I think you call it. Basically figuring out what what uh, franchise might be good for them. Yeah, I, there's there's a lot. Um, actually, right before I got on today, I was on a presentation. And I really, really like this franchise model. I would say this one would be right up your alley. Um, and it caters to property managers. So. Okay. They do an 18 point inspection, this, this franchise. So they'll do like air filter changes, all, uh, power washing, gutter cleaning, all the things. So they're, they have in like national contracts with like Berkshire, Berkshire Hathaway, all these property management companies, uh, uh, and also community facil facilities, commercial facilities. That's actually a cool, another cool business model. I think I want to present on that at some point, because that's like. Real estate, real estate investors kind of get that, and especially people that own doors, right? Like, mm -hmm. you're so I could go to your property manager who we were talking about the other day, and I could say, look, you have you know X amount of doors, and like, mm -hmm. God forbid, uh, a laundry, you know, you had dryer vent fire because you didn't service it and you didn't get your owners to. There's liability. The guy that started this uh, this franchise is actually in the Silicon Valley, mm -hmm. and he's an attorney. And he also owns like over 600 doors in the Bay Area, wow. Silicon Valley. So he saw the need for it and he developed it into a franchise model. He actually started this business model for his servicing his units sure. and actually really, really like this business model. I want to present it. Uh, I have a whole PowerPoint on it, but I think okay. something like that. But the point of this is, is look, guys, I know we're not looking to get into the poop scooping business, but you can make money in this business. It's actually a decent business model. So, we, you know, when people come to me, um, I think I relayed this message yesterday. I was talking to a couple and they're both doctors. They make combined $550,000 a year. Mm -hmm. And they told me after they, they pay all their expenses, they barely have any money left over every month. And I'm like, how is that possible that you make a half a million dollars a year? And I said, you're the perfect reason why I became a business ownership coach. Uh, and help in the financing and the and finding these businesses is because there's there's it just doesn't comprehend to me like and that's where I think people like you have to put on your entrepreneur cap and you got to understand the power of real estate and the power of business ownership because yeah. that will change like I want to like that two hundred grand a year you're paying in tax taxes doctor Mrs and Mrs Mrs doctor I want you to legally have offsets so you don't have to pay that that's like my goal in life yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of people out there, high W2s, a lot of people out there, you know, get the get the inclination that real estate can help them, but their active income is too high. So they they have these things called carry forward. Business is a different game. It's not treated as passive, it's treated as active. And there's a lot more opportunity to be efficient at tax planning. Uh, and small businesses can help. Uh, if somebody wanted to reach out to you, go deeper on this, or maybe... Uh, you know, do the Zoracle and figure out which uh, franchise is right for them. Where do we send them? Just go to one re one rental meeting dot com. It's as simple as that. Click on the link, book a time, and let's meet. Let's see how we can work together uh, so you can start buying more rentals. There you go, Bo. You're amazing. Thanks again. Thank you. Mm -hmm.